Republican candidate Mitt Romney unveiling his vice presidential pick, his running mate, Paul Ryan. Uh, he's a 42-year-old congressman from southern Wisconsin. Uh, he was elected when he was 28 years old, so he spent 14 years in the House now, rising to the House Budget Committee chairman. Uh, I want to bring in our chief Washington correspondent, Bob Schieffer, here. Bob, this looks a lot like a dress rehearsal for what we're going to see at the Republican convention uh, just 16 days from now in Tampa. Yes, I thought it was two really excellent speeches presenting their point of view and the uh, vision that these two men have for America. This is a campaign now that is going to present contrasting visions. The Obama campaign has one vision. Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan have another. But for all the fine speeches today, <clears throat> I have to say, you know, the, it, <laughs> the sound bite that's going to go viral here is the one where uh, Mitt Romney introduced Ryan as the next president of the United States. And, uh, you know, I would just say, uh, don't worry, Governor Romney. You know, uh, don't forget that John Roberts, the chief justice, bungled the presidential oath when he uh, swore in President Obama and they got past that. So this will pass. But uh, I would say basically a, a quite a successful event here this morning. Bob, as we've been talking this morning, uh, Paul Ryan has put out a budget. He has a very specific guideline, an outline of where he sees the future of this country. It was something that some critics had said Mitt Romney had yet to do. Medicare is a fundamental piece of that. It was a rallying point in the 2010 midterms. How might that play in this election? Well, uh, his uh, plan for Medicare, uh, which basically uh, turns it into a voucher program, at least that's the way Democrats would tell it. According to Democrats, it would uh, cost uh, seniors another $6,000 a year. You're going to hear a whole lot about that. It is the Ryan budget plan that is the reason that Democrats are as delighted about Ryan's selection as conservative Republicans are. They think that some of the ways that he plans to uh, get the budget back into balance uh, will not play well because he calls for big cuts in things like, uh, you know, veterans benefits and education, uh, all that sort of thing. Uh, Democrats think that this really makes it a campaign now of competing visions and, and you know, frankly, they're, they're ready to take them on on this.